better than a busy educational day on vacation. Uh, pina coladas on the beach? Did I hear absolutely nothing? I couldn't agree more. That's why the Dalton family came straight to the planetarium for a day chock full of learning. And while they're looking at the stars, we'll be reviewing Lewis dot diagrams. So bust out your tinfoil hats, lace up those moon boots, and grab your favorite periodic table. Well, the planetarium will tell you the moon's not made of cheese. But this sharing is caring, er, co-ring, poster is mighty cheesy. Lucky for us, that typo should remind you that in covalent bonds, atoms are drawn together because they share electrons. Lewis dot diagrams, aka Lewis structures, are used to show the distribution of shared and unshared electrons among the atoms in a molecule held together with covalent bonds. And all it's needed to convey this information is lines, dots, and the symbols for each element involved. In Lewis dot diagrams, each line represents a pair of electrons that are shared in a covalent bond, much like how these sticks are shared between the sun and planets to bond them together. So one line represents two electrons. Atoms share electrons to fill out their outer electron shell, which is called a valent shell. Atoms are most stable and most happy when this shell is full. For most elements, that happens when their valent shell has eight electrons, which is why this sun is marked with that eight on its outer layer. There are some exceptions though, like hydrogen and helium, which are happy with just two electrons in their outer shell. Not all valence electrons in a covalent compound are shared and in a bond, though. These are creatively called non-bonding electrons, and in a Lewis structure, each one is shown with the dot surrounding the symbol for the atom it orbits. We've represented them here with moons that orbit a single planet. These non-bonding electrons are usually found in twos, which are oxymoronically called lone pairs.